coming up on weeknight by a Mexican steak salad with a cilantro avocado dressing. Hello, welcome to Weeknight Bite. I'm Lindsay Levine and Weeknight Bite is your home for quick, healthy, and easy meals. And today I'm putting together a recipe in honor of my dad since Father's Day is coming up and I was trying to think, what does my dad love to eat? He loves beans, he loves avocado, he loves Mexican food. So I wanted to come up with a yummy steak salad uh, with all the nice Mexican ingredients that he would like. So I'm gonna start, I have a top sirloin filet here and normally I would have bought a skirt steak or something a little thinner but they were all out at the grocery store. So we're gonna make this work. And I'm just gonna season it very simply with sea salt flakes. And I like to use these flakes on steak because it really just adds a nice flavor and it's a lot stronger than just using regular salt. So I'm just gonna push that into the steak. And I'm also gonna do some pepper. So we're gonna do each side. And then we're just gonna let this sit for another maybe 15 minutes or so. And it's really important that your steak is at room temperature um, because it makes it a lot easier for cooking. So you don't wanna just take it right out of the fridge and then put it on the stove. So we're just gonna let it sit for a little bit and I'm gonna put together my salad. Okay, so first I'm gonna put in my spinach and I just chop the spinach a little bit smaller so that it makes it easier to eat. And we're gonna combine it with romaine lettuce. And I just like the two different lettuces because it gives it a little bit of variety. Then I'm going to add my heirloom cherry tomatoes, and I just love these tomatoes because they're so pretty. Um, I like all the different colors and they add some nice flavor, so we're going to add that in our salad. I'm also going to add in some black beans. And then I love corn, sweet corn that's straight off of the cob. Hasn't been cooked, hasn't been boiled, nothing. So I'm just going to cut it straight off from the cob and we're going to add it to our salad and that'll give it a really nice crunch. Okay, so I'm just going to add my corn. So you can tell already that there's some gorgeous colors in there and that the salad's just going to be delicious. So now we're going to make our dressing. We're making a cilantro lime avocado dressing. So it adds a ton of flavor to the salad. So we'll use about a half an avocado in our food processor. And you can also, if you don't have one, you can put it in a blender and that'll do the same thing going to juice a half of a lime, bunch of cilantro, you can take off you know, the last inch because you don't need that, but you don't have to worry about having stems in there because everything will taste good. So put that in, a little bit of olive oil, about a half a tablespoon, and a big clove of garlic, and then we're just going to turn it on. chunky in there. So we're going to add a fourth cup of water to it. And then salt and pepper. Okay. And hopefully that will make it perfect. Mmm. Zesty. That's good. I'll put it in here for later to save to put on our salad. And then we'll move over to the stove and get our steak cooking. I'm just heating up my grill pan with some grapeseed oil. And the reason I chose grapeseed oil is because it's flavorless, so it's not gonna change the taste of the steak and because it can handle a really high heat. Um, so that's why it's a better choice than olive oil. Okay, my stove's pretty hot, so I'm gonna add my steak. Okay, I'm ready to flip it. It's been a little over five minutes, so I'm going to flip it to the other side. Woo! You can see that you can still get that charred flavor and color inside on a grill pan. Okay, my steak took a little while to cook. It was about 15 minutes because it's a pretty thick steak. And it's not quite done the way I like it, but I'm going to take it off now because I know it'll keep cooking for the next couple minutes. And we'll move over and we'll start plating the salad. I'm just going to mix up all the ingredients in the salad. Just put it on a little single serving plate. Now we're going to add the avocado. And then we'll just pour a little dressing over it. And I think 
Our steak should probably be ready for us to slice, hopefully. So I'm just going to cut it in really thin strips to place right on top of the salad. And then last, we'll just add a little more dressing right on top of the steak. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to try it out. Mmm. That is a good salad. It's super hearty. A ton of different flavors. The cilantro and avocado dressing really gives it a nice kick. And I think this is the perfect Father's Day meal. And I really hope my dad loves it. So, happy Father's Day. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.